the South China Sea continues to be a theater of high stakes tension and strategic maneuvering. In this rising tide of maritime competition, the Philippines has taken a significant leap forward in 2026 by integrating one of the most advanced anti ship missile systems into its arsenal, the Sea Breaker. Developed with cutting edge precision and autonomy in mind, the Sea Breaker missile marks a dramatic shift in the Philippine Navy's ability to strike back, defend sovereignty, and assert maritime domain awareness. Welcome to the Reverend Line. Today, we go deep into the 2026 Philippines Sea Breaker anti ship missile, a weapon system that's redefining regional naval warfare and sending a clear message. The Philippines is no longer just a passive observer in maritime security, it's becoming a power to reckon with. The Sea Breaker is not a native Philippine missile. It's originally designed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems in Israel, but in 2026, through a historic defense acquisition deal and joint defense cooperation, the Philippines gained access to this game changing technology. It is a fifth generation autonomous, precision-guided missile, designed to hit both maritime and land-based targets with deadly efficiency. But what really makes the Sea Breaker a threat multiplier is not just its destructive capability it's the brain behind the missile. The Sea Breaker uses artificial intelligence for navigation, targeting, and threat assessment. With a range of up to 300 kilometers, it offers the Philippines the ability to launch strikes far beyond traditional coastal defense zones. In strategic terms, this range covers large swaths of the South China Sea, giving Filipino forces the ability to deter or counter naval movements near disputed territories, such as the Spratly Islands and Scarborough Shoal. One of the most remarkable features of the Sea Breaker is its ability to perform what military analysts call mid-flight course correction. Imagine a missile flying toward its target, and then mid-air, it updates its own trajectory to avoid countermeasures or to strike a higher value target that suddenly enters its area of influence. This gives the Sea Breaker the edge in a dynamic, high-threat environment. Radar jamming? No problem electronic warfare. The missile adapts. It's almost like a hunter with a mind of its own. The missile uses GPS independent terrain contour matching as one of its guidance options. This means it can still operate even if GPS signals are jammed or denied, a major factor in high stakes conflicts. Sea skimming capabilities make it difficult to detect and intercept reducing the reaction time for enemy defenses to respond. From a physical standpoint, the Sea Breaker is relatively compact, making it deployable from both land-based launches and naval vessels. For the Philippines, this opens up multi-platform deployment. Mobile coastal batteries equipped with Sea Breaker systems can be stationed on islands and coastal regions, while smaller Philippine Navy ships are like the Jose Rizal class frigates or future missile boats are can be equipped for launch capability. This makes it much harder for any adversary to predict or neutralize the missile threat with a single strike. By adopting the Sea Breaker, the armed forces of the Philippines are also signaling a shift in defense posture, from a mostly reactive and surveillance-heavy doctrine to a more deterrent-oriented and precision-strike-capable force. In an area like the West Philippine Sea, where Chinese maritime militia, coast guard vessels, and even warships operate with increasing frequency, this capability changes the game. It makes any hostile ship think twice before approaching contested zones. The Sea Breaker isn't just a missile it's a message. A message that the Philippines is modernizing fast, and is no longer willing to be sidelined in matters of national defense. That message becomes even louder when you consider the context. Over the past few years, the Philippines has strengthened defense ties with countries like the United States, Japan, and Australia. The introduction of the Sea Breaker complements this strategic shift. The missile's integration is not just about buying hardware it's about building a credible deterrent. 
Now let's talk about cost effectiveness. Unlike ballistic missile systems that cost millions per shot and require heavy infrastructure, the Sea Breaker offers a relatively affordable yet deadly solution. It provides the Philippines with the ability to conduct rapid, flexible response operations at a fraction of the logistical footprint required by larger systems. This is especially important for an archipelagic nation that needs to defend a vast maritime area with limited centralized infrastructure. The deployment of the Sea Breaker also plays into a broader geopolitical strategy. As the Philippines upgrades its capabilities, it sends a signal not just to China, but also to ASEAN neighbors, Manila is stepping up. This can have a ripple effect, encouraging regional cooperation intelligence sharing, and even collaborative defense exercises focused on maritime strike operations. One unrated feature of the Sea Breaker system is its real-time target update capability. It can receive new coordinates or threat assessments mid-flight, allowing it to shift to higher priority targets. This is crucial in maritime warfare, where the battlefield is fluid and constantly evolving. Combined with surveillance from drones or satellites, this missile becomes part of an intelligent, integrated kill chain system. Let's also not forget the psychological aspect. The very presence of Sea Breaker batteries in strategic areas like Palawan or Batanes creates a new layer of uncertainty for any hostile naval planning. It adds a level of complexity that adversaries must now factor into every maneuver, every deployment and every patrol. That's a major force multiplier without even firing a single shot. There are, of course, challenges. The Sea Breaker is advanced, and advanced systems require advanced training, logistics, and coordination. But sources suggest that Filipino forces have already begun high-level joint training operations with allies to master the full potential of the system. This includes simulated strikes, radar coordination, electronic warfare simulations, and combined joint command and control exercises. The long-term payoff is a better prepared, modernized force ready to defend every inch of national territory. Critics argue that relying on foreign developed systems could lead to dependency. But defense experts point out that smart integration and hybrid doctrine are combining imported systems with local innovation is the only way for mid-tier military powers to close the technological gap while developing their own industries over time. The Sea Breaker, in this context, is both a shield and a stepping stone. In closing, the 2026 deployment of the Sea Breaker anti-ship missile marks one of the most significant advancements in the Philippines' military modernization program. It reflects a more assertive national defense strategy, one that's intelligent, autonomous, and adaptable. The Sea Breaker's range, precision, and survivability offer a reliable deterrent in one of the world's most contested maritime domains. This isn't just about a missile it's about sending a message that the Philippines is ready, willing, and able to defend its seas. Thanks for watching the Reverend Line. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you the most important updates in modern defense and warfare technology. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the future of military power in the Indo-Pacific.